What's up you guys? Today I'm going to teach you Neville Goddard's powerful breathing technique. And it's a simple technique that surprisingly I don't hear too many people talk about. You know what I'm saying? But trust me, it works. It can definitely be a game changer for you. Let's do this. You see, what I love about Neville is that he doesn't try to over-spiritualize things. Because look, when you try this technique, he says it doesn't matter where you are or what you're doing. You can be at church sitting on a pew or at home listening to music. Shoot, you could even just be chilling with a drink in your hand. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you're really relaxed, that you get into a quiet frame of mind. And when you're finally relaxed, you then simply bring into your mind's eye whatever it is that you want to see, what you want to activate. But to be clear, you're aiming for a mood, okay? Not just a visual scene. You're aiming for a feeling. So for example, you can ask yourself, wouldn't it be wonderful if so-and-so actually had it, what they wanted? If she got what she wanted, if he got what he wanted, what they got what they wanted, what would it feel like for you if it were true? And then the next step is you imagine seeing them vividly telling you they got exactly what they wanted. You following? And as you're seeing them telling you this, what you want to do is that you want to breathe yourself into a rhythm. You breathe in and breathe out. You inhale and exhale. Use your own rhythm while they're telling you the good news. Now, as for how many times you got to breathe in and out, once, twice, 50 times, it's totally up to you. There's no exact number to it. But you want to reach a certain point where you get yourself so worked up emotionally to the limit of thrill, Neville says, because of what you're hearing and seeing. Because don't forget, it's about you, okay? Not them. It's your feeling. That's the secret. That once you've worked yourself up to a certain emotional state, then suddenly, with one deep, deep inhalation, boom, your whole body explodes, every pore of your being, and you feel the power go out. Literally, you actually feel it. Then that's it. You let it go. You let it be. You do nothing beyond that. Or as Neville likes to say, you don't raise a finger to make it so. But I know the question people are going to ask, how long is it going to take? Well, according to Neville, it could be tomorrow. It could be a month. Who knows? But don't be concerned about it because you've done it. You've done it. And that's all that matters if this stuff works, right? Remember, everything has its own appointed hour. Everything. A little chicken, 21 days. A baby, 9 months. A horse, 12 months. A little lamb, 5 months. There's a time interval. So what can you do after pregnancy has taken place? Nothing. <laughs> you leave it alone. So if your manifestation is taking a while, don't even trip, dude. Just chill. Relax. Be patient. Don't worry. It'll come. It won't be late. Why again? Because this works. This thinking works. Dare to assume that what you saw in your mind's eye is true. And it'll harden into fact. Straight up. So try this today. Cool? Keeping this short and sweet. Alrighty guys, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. If you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work and of course help spread this message. And yo, don't forget to register for my free online training that'll seriously help you to start manifesting the life you really want right now. So check it out. The link's in the description. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.